Hi Leo, this is Jess with your July uh, mid-month 2017 reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. Uh, so Leo, uh, I do see for some of you for the remainder of the month, there's a lot of um, thinking about going in a different direction or where you want to take your life next. Uh, this, For some of you, uh, it's going to be work-related. Uh, some of you are trying to decide if you want to change your course of action as it relates to work. You may have felt like this job was going to be promising, um, but now it, it, it's coming to a point where maybe you feel like you have to kind of like let this job go. Um, let an aspect of your own business go. Um, for some time is what I see here. Uh, some of you are possibly putting in extra hours at work, putting in more focus towards a different aspect of life. So be it moving, be it wanting to, again, move to a different uh, job, location, that sort of thing is what I see here. It looks like the beginning of July was pretty fruitful for some of you. Um, there was some good energy very successful it looks like a lot of you guys that the efforts that you put in was yielding good results for you and some of you could have recently taken a trip uh with a family member someone could have come recently to visit come into town um and it could have been something house related so i remember i believe saying to you guys that you were going to be helping someone uh, so it could have been house related or someone relocating or someone coming closer to where you were at or just merely visiting and that so that's also something that some of you could have been doing too could have been visiting parents um home that sort of thing okay or just traveling to find out or re or traveling at a distance to decide if this move because some of you will be wanting to move down the line if this is a good opportunity for you this new job this new location this new move that sort of thing um and someone again could have recently come back um, into your life and that's been very successful and it's made you, you feel a bit stable and grounded it looks like at least for the past maybe six days or six weeks for some of you are, or um, a month time it looks like um, right now some of you could be some of you are going to be receiving offers it looks like some of the offers at first will seem promising and then it'll be a disappointment okay um, it's going to fall through it won't necessarily work uh, it'd be someone that will either come in and and uh, cut off the offer or rescind the offer or um, the person will change up. So it just depends on your circumstance, whether it will be that same person that make an offer and then change up on you or someone makes an offer to you and someone else comes in and kind of um, puts that offer to an end is what I see. OK, uh, it looks like someone's going to try to be there for you on an emotional level. Someone's going to. Um, or someone will be there to support you. It looks like it could be your mom, it could be a coworker, friend, that sort of thing. I'm getting more female energy uh, as you go through a bit of a trying time. And when I say trying time, for some of you, it could just be your, your, a work situation. You may be wanting to, to leave one position, go to another. Um, you're inquiring about that. Uh, someone's there to help you, but then it doesn't necessarily go all the way. Um, it, it falls through to some extent, because it is, as we get to the latter part of the the month i feel like there is some disappointment and some confusion um around initial offers um and then something going a different way uh it looks like some of you are ready to move leave one part of your life behind and move on to a new beginning and that really is is on your mind but while it's on your mind you're still working and doing your day-to-day -day life and you may be feeling like for some of you that um, life is becoming a lot to deal with like work life just work and work life balance for you or just life balance period is becoming a lot to deal with and some of you uh, are contemplating how do I unload some of these responsibilities how do I unload you know what all I have going on in my life and kind of make life a little bit more um light it looks like some of you will be going on a trip it's coming up maybe coming up in the next uh six 
what is this five weeks so right now we're in the middle of august so i mean middle of july so maybe like around your birthday time a happy birthday um for you Jul- july born leos um so and august as well <laughs> just giving you a, a heads up but um yeah I, I see like for the next maybe five days or another month and a a week so around uh, mid-august time some of you will be um taking a trip okay i feel like that will be a much needed trip when you take this trip okay um i want to get it could be uh business related so some of you could be um taking leave going on vacation putting in leave that sort of thing you have to provide documentation is what i'm getting here for some of you uh for the job is what i get and i feel like someone there may be some issues or some discrepancy around you taking off the vacation time that you want to take off taking off a leave if that's what you're planning on doing like it may all seem fine at first but then as a person kind of goes through the documents you may hear that there's an issue that you may not be covered for certain days you may not get approved for this time so there is some disappointment i feel more as it relates to work for some of you um yeah and it not necessarily have to be involving you it can be a family member friend someone close to you they could be up for a position a role or they may be trying to relocate or you just may hear that someone says that hey you know i have plans to go on vacation or this sort of thing and i and i'm not able to do it but i feel like this person could be uh very close to you um as it relates to love for some of you guys i feel like there is a um i feel like there's a bit of a separateness in your love sphere for some of you i mean your relationship sector so uh you may be trying to decide what you want to do in life your mate may be just still working the same job that they've worked you know forever or doing the same thing that they've done and doesn't seem like they're necessarily changing anything about them but you're ready for a change you're ready to do something different um some of you may be feeling like you're in it alone Um, as it relates to everything that you have going on but I would ask for some of you that can feel that feel that way have you taken time to discuss this with your mate have you really sat down and and opened up to them have you um have you been comfortable enough to share you know your inner thoughts and your deep feelings about whatever you're going through okay Uh, because I feel like that would be very helpful for your mate Uh, If you feel like you're holding everything up on your shoulders and you don't necessarily feel like you're getting the support because I do see this um, separateness and energy. Okay. Um, And it almost feels like uh, whomever is significant in your life, it feels like the timing is off between the two of you. One person may want to be affectionate, then the other person doesn't and vice versa so it's like every time someone is on in one stage of energy the other person's in another stage of energy and it just seems like there may be a little bit of disappointment around that like things were good at the beginning of july or um in june time and then there's just been some i feel like some disappointment here some of you also and you know i'm not I don't ever like to give good bad news at all ever Uh, but some of you may have found out that you've recently um, like you've lost a child okay and you're seeing this a lot I know you probably some of you are saying that you may have noticed that there's a lot of that energy going around so if I see it unfortunately um, I feel compelled to say it and that may contribute to the difference in energy as well okay um because i do see like you and your mate not necessarily being uh i just get difference of energy okay and you're more wanting to move forward physically in life and are moving forward but then you feel may feel to some extent that a lot is on you um and you may have some regrets because the life that you possibly have seen for yourself isn't necessarily materializing either and that can be another way that this is looked at uh so it could be that a bit of um i don't feel like you guys are like completely in this land of the loss or anything like that um 
as far as you guys that's not dealing with anything extremely um, heavy and transitional, uh, I don't feel like it's that. I feel like it could just be some disappointment around uh, things not necessarily working out the way that you thought that it would, okay, uh, for the remainder of these two weeks. So that's what I have for you guys. Um, and again, it looks like um, for those of you that's in pretty, you know, sustainable relationships, just looks like uh, just difference in energy at this time with you and your mate, like um, your energy is fluctuating and doesn't seem to be one, if that makes any sense. And I feel like good communicating and talking with one another, whatever that might be, your fears, your desires, your interests, your goals. Um, it may be very beneficial for some of you to have those talks with your mate uh, to let them in on it because they may want to converse with you some ideas with you as well. So that's what I have for you guys for the remainder of July. I hope that this has been helpful. If you'd like to respond and let us know how this relates to you, please do so in the comment section below. If you would like a personal counsel with me, I can be reached in the information bar below as well as in the email. I'm sorry, the video uh, beginning and I believe the ending of this video. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Leo.